Hi and hello, I am Tina Pandian here. In this video, I am going to uh, give some of the few uh, instruction or suggestions to most of the uh, autonomous institutions, those who are having biomedical engineering. Uh, because in uh, 10 years back, uh, in, the, in the autonomous institutions and then uh, an university affiliated institution and some other affiliated institutions, they follow the subject called the hospital training. Okay? So during that time, uh, there is no companies available, there is no industries available for learning about the equipments. That is what they keep the subject name called the hospital training. But nowadays, there are so many companies available in many sort of the uh, cities, not only in Chennai, in Madurai, you know, in Coimbatore, in Trinidad you know, in Tenkasi, you know, in go to some other state also, in each and every cities, entire two cities also have some of the biomedical companies there. My small request to all the autonomous institutions and affiliated institutions, principals and the head of the department is, please avoid the hospital training subjects. Because the, through the hospital, the biomedical engineering student couldn't able to learn anything about the equipment. That is true. Through my experience and through my through most of the members' feedbacks, I am requesting you, I am suggested most of the uh, autonomous institution also, where, where I am a, a BOS member, board of syllabus member, during that colleges, I already instructed that to please change the hospital training subject into the industrial training. The name itself you just change. Instead of hospital training, you just please kindly change the syllabus, uh, that is a title name, a subject name as industrial training or biomedical industrial training. That is more comfortable for the final year students, particularly those who are in the seventh semester. They can able to learn much amount of equipment in the companies only, not in the hospitals. Because in the hospitals, there is, not, there is no possibility to touch the equipment even. So then how they are they can able to know about the equipment in detail. That is what I am saying. So try to go and try to avoid the hospital training. Instead of that, change the subject into the industrial training in the seventh semester or you just included uh, this industrial training one and industrial training two in the sixth semester and seventh semester is also that is more comfortable for them because in the biomedical equipment is much heavier right there are 29,000 plus biomedical equipments are there that is not possible to learn about all the equipment so in the single semester uh, or we can able to learn about 100 to 200 equipments at least during the engineering studies you have the two industrial training in one semester one industrial training one and uh, industrial training two in the next semester then that is more comfortable for uh, the syllabus weightage is also more good at the same time the quality of the students also make very good most of the companies they are rejecting to coming over the placement to the uh, institutions also this particular region if you have this kind of the industrial training, more number of industrial training in your syllabus, then uh, the industry peoples are coming over to the institution to get give placements to the students. So that is what I am saying in this video. Uh, whatever the whoever the people who are watching this video, whether you are student or faculty or, uh, or the institutional members, whoever it may be, please share this particular information to your concerned person. Change the hospital training subject into the industrial training and included two industrial training in two semesters continuously. Thank you very much.